Pursuant to the committee regulations, would you please all rise, raise your right hands to take the oath. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Let the record reflect, please be seated, let the record reflect that all witnesses answered in the affirmative. Before I continue, and because uh, this committee is acutely aware that one or more on the panel may choose to assert their Fifth Amendment rights, and because this Chair does not want to have anyone waive that right accidentally, involuntarily, or in any other way, does anyone here at this time intend to invoke their Fifth Amendment rights? Mr. Roseman? Yes, sir. I do intend to waive my Fifth Amendment. I, I intend to invoke my Fifth Amendment right to be oh. silent. Mr. Roseman, you not, have not provided any written testimony today, is that correct? Okay. Uh, I understand from your counsel that you may want to assert your constitutional privileges, and you have already said that is correct. Mr. Roseman, today's hearing will cover topics including waste, fraud, and abuse of government contracting set-asides. As Deputy Director, Enterprise Networks and Tier Systems support <coughs> at the Internal Revenue Service, you are uniquely qualified to provide testimony that will help the Committee better understand information technology acquisition practices at the IRS. To that end, I once again must ask you to consider answering questions that will bear uh, on that subject with us. Mr. Roseman, what is your title at the IRS? Mr. Chairman, my title is what is, was uh, Deputy Director of Enterprise Network and Tier Systems Procurement. Mr. T Mr. Roseman, to whom do you report at the IRS? Would you do that once again? I apologize. Mr. Chairman, on the advice of counsel, I respectfully decline to answer any questions and invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege to remain silent. Mr. Roseman, when did you first become aware of a company known as Strong Castle, Inc.? Mr. Chairman, on the advice of counsel, I respectfully decline to answer any questions and invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege to remain silent. Mr. Roseman, are you currently employed by the IRS? Mr. Chairman, on the advice of counsel, I respectfully decline to answer any questions and invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege to remain yes. silent. Lastly, Mr. Roseman. Are you prepared to answer any questions here today about your role in the IRS acquisitions and information technology products and services from Strong Castle, Inc.? Mr. Chairman, no. <clears throat> Mr. Cummings, do you have any, any questions before I dismiss the witness? Uh, no, I have no questions. Uh, and I, uh, as we uh, respect the witnesses' uh, right to uh, remain silent, consistent with the Fifth Amendment, uh, Mr. Chairman. So I have no objections with the Chairman dismissing this witness. Given that the witness has indicated that he does not intend to answer any questions and out of respect for his right under the Constitution, I will now ask the committee to excuse the witness, take away his name, and uh, we will take a short recess so that we can uh, reset the table. Mr. Roseman, you are excused. <laughs>